Hi friends and welcome to a new vlog week. We have just seen my mother off. And there's my dad. Hi dad! Yeah. We've just seen my mum off. She's off to do a 10k. Good luck mum, I'm sure you smashed it. But now we're off to see my gran at the Riverside Museum. She's doing a market. So uh, let's see if she'll let us film her. So here we are at the Riverside. I don't think I've actually filmed here before. Um, I need to come back and do like a proper tour but we're just going in for the market and to see my gran I think might have a look around if we can be bothered but we'll see Is it uh, like a treasure hunt or something? Where's dad? Oh there he is Sorry Where? Oh there Right, let's go and find Gran. So the Riverside Museum is basically the transport museum. Um, bye dad. And there's a wee street market on. There she is, hiding behind these people. There she is. <laughs> she's embarrassed, look, she's pretending to look away. <laughs> but uh, these are all the lovely stuff that my Gran knits. Hopefully it'll be online soon. And if it is, I'll tag it. We are back from our day of adventures, Connor. He's actually a way out for once. Not a big socializer, uh, but I, I, I pushed him, gave him a gentle push to go out and join his work mates and have some fun. So he's off doing that. Now I'm gonna finish editing the last Thailand video. If you haven't uh, caught any of my Thailand videos, please go and check them out. They are great and they show you some of the adventures we got up to on our trip to Thailand. It's Christmas, okay. It's not quite Christmas, but it's the 1st of December, yay! And you know what that means. It means it's time to open our advent calendars. But first, we've got to set the mood. We've got to set the tone. So I may have completely forgot about uh, November. Um, <laughs> so we're going to switch this over to December. And we have a beautiful Christmassy, wintry scene from Beauty and the Beast. There's the troops. There's the wardrobe and it's December. And last but not least, we have to light our Bath and Body Works candle. It's clearly already been in full use. We're almost finished, but don't worry because I've got more. So here are the advent calendars. I got this one for me and Connor. So it gives you like um, three prompts and you have to pick one for the day. I've decided I'm gonna exercise every day. Even if it's just a little thing, 10 minutes, even less. So I've got this from, I don't know if it was last year or the year before, uh, where it gives you an exercise to do every day. So I'm going to use that as a prompt if I need it. And me and Connor have one each, but we're going to share them. So today I'm going to start off with Galaxy and then tomorrow Dairy Milk and then switch backwards and forwards. Thankfully, number one is right up here. We have a little Christmas present. Oh, I got a little Christmas tree. And here's the pièce de résistance. As soon as I opened this box, by the way, it just smelled amazing. Um, so I'm pretty buzzed. I mean, wow, this box smells amazing. It is the Rituals Advent Calendar. Let's open up the box. I mean, isn't she beautiful? Now let's dig in. Number one is down here. Oh, come on, let me in. Oh. Is it a candle? I think it's a candle! And there it is. Suede vanilla. Oh, this is obviously what's making it smell amazing in that box. I'm assuming there's going to be more candles. That's exciting. Everyone who's seen this channel knows that I love my candles. So the joys of working from home is now I'm going to go do washing <laughs> while I work. How exciting. Oh, I forgot I wanted to show you what I got from the Christmas market. So my gran gave me these cute little booties and they hang on the tree. So um, they'll be hanging on the tree this year. Stay tuned for that. Probably maybe next vlog or the vlog after. I mean, of course, did you expect anything less? I got a candle and I love that it's um, Connell. That's how us Scottish say it, we say Connell. Um, so that's cute and it smells like gingerbread and it smells amazing. Now, I'm not usually a ring person, but when I saw this, I knew, I just knew. She is 100% handmade and silver. I mean, come on, look how gorgeous she is. I was debating it and debating it. I was like, Samantha, you barely ever wear rings. 
but I, I, I couldn't let her go. I could not let her go. Uh, and I guess I'm a right person now. And of course, when I tried to pay for her, Connor stepped in and wouldn't let me pay for her. Um, yeah, I love her and I'm very happy with it. Uh, and I'm gonna wear it at every occasion that I can. So Connor doesn't buy me everything. <laughs> this is one I bought myself and it is a wood painted bookmark and I just thought it was so beautiful. Purple is my favorite color and I was just obsessed so I had to buy it and I love it. And last but not least from the same person I got my ring from, Connor saw this necklace and he said he had to buy me it. So I'm a very spoiled girl, uh, mermaid vibes <laughs> today and yeah I have to say I'm just I'm very spoiled and I love you Connor. But yeah, it was a great haul and it's a great market. Unfortunately, it, it's it's done now. It was at the Riverside Museum. It was only two days. Um, but yeah, it was fab and I had a great time there. Look who's home. Who's hey, home? It's you. It's me. Hi. How was work? Uh, it was all right. Yeah. It was all right, yeah. You saw women getting oh? accosted for a shoplift and that was fun. Oh, okay. Yeah. Aye. Uh, nice. Uh, she got away. She made got away it. with it. Love uh, it. Love it. Uh, it's December. It is. Do you know what that means? Vlogmas. It's, well, no, I don't do vlogmas, dear God, no. Uh, I do hashtag not vlogmas. I just weekly vlog, I don't daily vlog. However, if you want a daily vlogger, please go and check out my good friend Liz. She does vlogmas every year. And uh, I, I could never have such dedication uh, to that. So I'll leave a link down below, uh, but go and check her out. It's Advent Calendars. You're not excited? Aye. Mm, and I'm going to need some more enthusiasm. Aye. Oof. That's, is that as good as it gets? Aye. Right, okay, let's go. So I had the Galaxy one, so you get the Dairy Milk one for day one. Right. I thought I said cheese pleasure. I was like, oh. Cheese pleasure? Aye, it says cheese pleasure. All oh, right, okay. I I said cheese Would you pleasure. like some cheese pleasure? I'm no against some cheese pleasure. Right, okay. Number one. Would you like it's going to be behind it? A million dollars? Not the conversion rate. Right <laughs> what did you get? Are you gingerbread person? Wait, it's 2022, we can't. There we go. Are you gingerbread person? Let's grab it. Yummy. Oh, you just bell. Right. Day one. Let's do it. Where's number one? Have you found it? I found it. I found it too, so there. Hey. Right, so do you want to read them out? Deciding a colour theme for this, year, for this year's Christmas decorations and make plans to go Christmas decoration shopping. Here today or in the near future, if you have decorations that you no longer use, perhaps this is also a good time to donate some of them to charity. Okay, option one. Or, both write down three things that, that you think really turn your partner on, then compare notes and see if you were right. Okay. Or, your partner's mission for tonight is to bring you both to Climax. How they do <laughs> Does it that actually them. say that? Aye, aye. <laughs> So this is the the daring edition. <laughs> so I'll leave it up to your imagination which one Connor picked. Um, but it's, it's probably decoration one. It's probably the one you thought it was. <laughs> We're getting your bubbles. <laughs> We're getting some Christmas balls. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to have dinner. Aye. For a shower. I was thinking that we could. Um, maybe watch the new Guardians of the Galaxy's uh, Christmas special sure. or something. We'll watch something Christmassy. Just to, you know, bring in the, the holiday spirit of December. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Missy. Hi, baby. Hello. 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 Oh, you doing big stretches? Oh, big stretches. Big stretches. He's the means. So what did you think of the Gardens of the Galaxy holiday special? It was alright. It was cute. Like, it's not like a full length feature, it's like 45 minutes. It went really quick though, to be fair. Like, it didn't feel like 45 minutes. No. Did it feel like that to you? Yeah. You good? Ah, uh, good. But yeah, yeah. It, was, it was super cute. Uh, and yeah, I definitely recommend it if you just want a wee bit of, wee bit of Christmas, a wee bit of marble Christmas. It is a new day and I have had a stressful morning. Today was ADR day for Disney Advanced Dining Reservation Day and I had a couple of dining reservations that I wanted to make for in particular and it was a struggle. The website was not having it, it would not let me book anything and it just kept on saying error 
call to make a reservation. So I had to call and made some reservations. Some of them I couldn't get. Some of them were showing up online when I tried to book them, but for some reason on the phone they couldn't book them. So strange. Um, so I was very stressed. I am very stressed because I know it seems silly, but you know, it's, it's something that means a lot to me, um, making holidays good. And it seems now there's a slight, there shouldn't be, but it seems now there's an added pressure because my dad and brother are coming with me. So I'm like, I want to make everything perfect. And I want to show them a good time because they haven't been in like 10 years. So I was stressed. And then I had an absolute brain fart and I was like, why don't I try the My Disney Experience app? And of course, everything was working perfectly on the app. So the ones that I couldn't get done over the phone, I did on the app, no bother. So I'm pretty happy now with what I got and I may have had a little relief cry at the end. But it's literally one o'clock and I haven't ate. <laughs> um, in the stress and the panic to get things booked. I have my uh, potato scones on and let's do some epic calories. So it is my turn today for the dairy milk. Let's, oh, there's number two there. Oh, we have a little candy cane. I was really struggling to work out what this is. It came out like that and I was like, what the bloody hell? But it's a Santa, Santa. And now this big beast, number two is pretty centered there. What I also forgot, there was a wee saying on here. Light this candle for a moment of pure tranquility with the enhancing aroma of the woody yet floral fragrance. <gasps> Ooh. It says, sweet dreams. Prepare for sleep with a ritual of Jing sleep foaming shower gel with lavender and sandalwood. And there it is. Some sleepy shower gel. So this bath and bodywork candle is finished. So let's go ahead and light the rituals one. Some nice vanilla for the day. Look who's home, it's gone on, gone on. Only 30 year old man, I'm too old for an advent. No, oh, yeah, no. Oh well, will I just spin the, the other one then? I'll spin you. Shall I? I'll spin you. No, nah, that's what I thought. Oh, music. There you go, wee snowman. He you going in your mouth now? Oh, there he goes. I rushed. <laughs> And it is my turn to open this and decide what we're doing. Oh, yeah, he does. Now I'm gonna have to try and get under it. Okay, so we have discuss where in the world you think would be the coolest place to celebrate Christmas and New Year's. Ooh, receive a five-minute massage, or that that last one. Okay, let's keep it family friendly today. Uh, where do you think would be the coolest place to celebrate Christmas and New Year? Well, for me, it would be Disney, I think. <laughs> Shocker! Or New York, but I think Disney would be pretty cool. Probably just any, like, major city. Like where? Eh, uh, I don't know, there's a couple of them. They're all, like, Tokyo, Tokyo New York. Tokyo would be cool. Any kind of big... Yeah, it does something, like, big. I'll take New York. We'll take New York as your answer. We will have to wake up this poor little creature, you know, because we have to empty his bed. Look at all those poopses. Off to explore his nice new clean enclosure. Lots of snacks hidden in there. Good meeting. So we've just finished doing mush and <laughs> I love your holding up like you're about to stab me with it. Did I just like oh, got, got you a moment? I was like, oh I like this and you be able to just whip the camera out. I have got to so, go so, get content babes. I was like, right, hold the pose. <laughs> okay. This is clearly the what pose. inspired it. <laughs> uh, sweet eating, what is it? Mango and 
It's actually a... Uh, right, stop me. Don't make a, a stupid joke. Right, okay. No, it's a uh, mango and lime chicken. Chicken. And how is it? you try it? Ah, it's pretty is good. Is it good? It's pretty good. I, well, I think there's a bit of chilli in it. Or there's chilli oil in oh, there's it. There's a bit of a spice to it. Yeah. I'm out of bath as well, so excuse my appearance. Right, you got bit? Yeah. I don't know what bit to bite. What the heck is that? It's alright, but it's not, it's not my vibe. Good. It's not my vibe. You like it? Mm-hmm. It's not like amazing, but it's good. So, we've had a nice evening, haven't yes. we? Just watched some funny stuff on YouTube. Honestly, like, I wish more, like, I had more Scottish people that watched because <laughs> some of these compilations are too funny. Uh, I don't know, I might do a try not to laugh for my patron or something like that. Um, I have Patreon. I don't really post on it, <laughs> so no pressure. Um, but yeah, uh, that's it for this vlog. And we'll see you next time. Bye.